Hey there, it is Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Queer Girl, and I am excited to give this video today. It's on a very special topic, very timely for me to teach you how to prepare for maternity leave, especially if you are a business owner like me, if you are an entrepreneur, how do you prepare your business to go on maternity leave? Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. I'm your host, Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Career Girl, one of Forbes' most influential career sites. This is a podcast for a community of women who want to turn their passions into work they love. You'll learn how to become happy, successful, and balanced with class, skill, and style. We believe that you can create your future. So stop delaying your great life. Go put yourself out there. You can have your great life and career right now. So this is the third baby for me. So I have a lot of practice preparing for maternity leave. So that's why I thought this video would be perfect for you. By the time you're watching this, I'll probably already have had the baby, which is super exciting. Um, but I wanted to do this video now while it is fresh in my mind, because when I'm preparing for maternity leave, I am the most like productive I have ever been because I want to take a break. And I know babies take a lot of time and I got to have my all my tasks done before she comes, right? So that's why I am very productive. I wish I was always this productive and planned ahead. So even if you're not planning for maternity leave or if you're not having a baby or anything like that, you're still going to find this helpful because these are the steps that I try to always do in my business. And I wish I always did because it feels so good to actually take a break. So if you've ever wanted to take a break from your business, take time off, follow what I'm going to teach you in this video. So um, one, when I had my first daughter, I was um, preparing. She was like a week late. And so I was preparing and scheduling social media posts for before that, before she came, before she was born. And so I was like six weeks ahead and it was amazing. So for those six, first six weeks that she was born, I had social media posts going out. I even had a social media post going out while I was in labor. And one of my friends saw that post and she just thought I was so dedicated to Classy Career Girl and she was so impressed that I was posting while I was in labor. And don't worry, I let her know <laughs> that I was not that dedicated to my work. Um, and it was all planned out and it was all scheduled before. And that's what I want for you too. If you are planning maternity leave or taking any time off, I want you to batch and schedule it ahead and just not think about it because it feels so good. So a few months ago, I had no idea how I was going to take a maternity leave, but I followed the tips that I'm going to teach you today. And I'm about a month away from having a baby and I'm feeling really good as far as being able to take time off, um, not having to worry about the business, having the business run itself. So the first thing that you want to do to prepare for a maternity leave is to set a date. Now, if you're a business owner, you have to set this date yourself. This is not something that we can go to our bosses and say, can I take this six weeks off? Or can I take this time off? Or can I take two months off? And we're not getting paid, right? Because as business owners, we generate our own income and our own revenue. And so we're not necessarily going to be paid by paychecks um, if we don't work, right? So it's, first of all, very important as you're planning out your maternity leave that you set a date. This was really, really hard for me. I did not think on the, with this third baby because my business has grown. There's, there's a lot more things that are happening in, in my business than there were when I had my second daughter and my first daughter. And I was really worried about this maternity leave. I did not think I was going to be able to pull off a maternity leave this time around, to be honest. And so I didn't set a date. And um, like I advise you guys, I have a coach myself. And one of the first questions that she asked me is when, when's your maternity leave? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I haven't set a date. I, I actually don't know if I'll be, if, if it'll even be able to happen. <laughs> like, I don't know if I can right now. And uh, after thinking about it, I realized I wanted to take the same amount of time as I did with my other, um, my, my last daughter, which was three months. And so I wrote the dates out um, I December, on a post-it note and stuck it to my computer December 1st through February 28th, put it on my computer, even though it seemed completely crazy to be able to do that. But because we're entrepreneurs, we're in charge of our schedule, we're in charge of that freedom that we can create, 
I knew I had to somehow figure it out. It was a goal, right? It was a goal. I had to figure out the plan to make it happen. So this was really important for me just to start thinking this way. I started to tell my team, these are the dates I'm going to be gone. I started to look at the calendar and see, okay, what do I need to do leading up to that December 1st date in order for me to actually really be gone on December 1st? What do I need to do to get my team ready? Who do I need? Do I need to hire someone to be able to help me so that I can take that time off? Um, and overall, it's been just really helpful for my mindset to have that time blocked off. For some reason, I think this baby's coming early. Um, so it's helped to alleviate a lot of stress and overwhelm. So if she does come early, then I'm ready. And so that has been really helpful to just set that date, set that timeline of when I want to take maternity leave, even though I don't have a boss to ask. Um, I still made that plan and that goal for myself. The second thing you need to do is to create systems and processes in your business. Now I have kind of sort of had some good systems and processes in my business. You know, the team has had some systems and processes, but our entire business has never really been systematized until this pregnancy, <laughs> because I realized that our, our business has grown so much that we really needed support and we really needed to help getting all of our systems and processes in place. So this was the year that I spent a good two months documenting every single step in our business. Marketing, it's all documented. We have checklists for the blog and social media and everything you can imagine, the podcast, this video that I'm doing right now, there's checklists, there's systems in place. Um, when it comes to our sales process, there's checklists and systems in place and everything that we do when it comes to sales. And then fulfillment when it comes to serving our customers um, and providing a service to our clients, all of that is documented and systematized as well. Um, we also have created system systems for just operations, whether it's like you know, someone on our team wants to take time off. We have systems and operations and processes for that as well. This never would have happened if I didn't have this pregnancy because we were doing okay. You know, we were doing okay without having our entire business systematized. And because I wanted to take that three month maternity leave, because I wanted to take time off, I knew I needed to focus in and make this a priority this year to make it happen. And since we've done this, it has like eliminated so much stress and overwhelm. Um, no longer am I like daily checking in on my team. I'm no longer getting questions every day from my team. Um, there's just been a huge weight list lifted off my shoulders because we have these systems and these processes in place. And not only that, I know the team can take them and run with them and that they know where to go. So if I'm in labor or if I'm with the baby, they know how to run the business without me. And it's just been a huge relief. So super important, no matter where you are in your business, whether you want to take one week off or three weeks off is to start working on your systems and your processes. We just have simple, a simple Google docs checklist. That's it. Um, before we had Asana, um, but we actually left Asana and we just tried to simplify our systems as much as possible. And so now we are just using Google Doc checklists. Like it doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to have fancy software um, like I thought you did. That's why I hadn't invested in this because I thought it was going to be really overwhelming and hard. So instead, make it super simple. You can create a video. You can create a video on Loom or on Zoom um, or just simple Google Docs and checklists for you and your team to be able to document what you do every single day. Now, the third thing I want you to create or have in your business before you take your maternity leave is I want you to create an asset that you can sell while you are gone that doesn't require you to be there in order to sell. So this is especially important if you have a service or if you're a coach or a consultant, um, if you're providing any type of service, if you can create an asset like an online course, um, a, a guide, an ebook, um, any sort of processes or systems to sell yourself, you are going to then be able to generate an income while you are gone. So let me give you an example of what I did about um, a couple months ago. So I was a little over halfway in this pregnancy realizing, okay, 
I got to create something that I can sell while I'm on maternity leave. So I created a live planning workshop, a 90 minute planning workshop. I held this live um, back in September and I, you know, I, I sold it live. So there were people that were going to be there that were going to show up um, to this live planning workshop. Um, and because I sold it live, that forced me to actually get the slides done and give a great presentation. And we did some q and I recorded the whole thing. What do you think I did with the recordings? The next month, we turned around and we sold those recordings um, as an evergreen product. So now every single day, we're getting multiple sales of that workshop that I hosted live and then turned into an asset. And that is what I'm going to be selling and focusing on during my maternity leave is selling that workshop. So it's helping people, it's serving people, but I don't have to be there. And that's what I want you to think about and to generate ideas for as well as like, you know, a few months before the baby comes, what can you create so that you can turn that into an evergreen product and be able to generate sales of that product while you are gone? The fourth way that I am preparing for my maternity leave is by batching my content ahead of time. So all of my social media, all of my website content, all of my podcast content for three months will be batched ahead of time so that I can go have that maternity leave, go and hang out with my new baby, go sleep a little bit. And I know that I have blogs going out every week. I have podcasts going out every week and I have social media content scheduled every single day. So block out the time. I usually batch about two days to generate um, three months of blog posts. Um, and then I, I try and block out like two days to generate a month of social media content. So go on your calendar, lock out that time. Don't put anything else on the calendar for those days because you're just going to focus on generating content for your website, generating content for, so for social media. Today, right now, I am pre-recording this video before baby. So you're going to see it a in a couple months after the baby comes. So I'm batching this content. I'm doing a lot of them today. So you're going to see multiple months of content um, that I'm all creating in just one day. And that's how I get or record a lot of content at the same time. And then I can send it off to my virtual assistant who can help me then get it on the blog, get the newsletter published, get the blog post published, get the social media images created. And that way things can happen without me. That is the theme of today. Like how can we make your business operate without you needed? So to summarize this video, we want to set a date for your maternity leave. So we know when you're going to be gone, you can share that with your team as well. Um, and you can start to prepare your calendar to be able to batch your content and get everything that's needed to get done before that date. We want to start to create systems and processes in your business so that you can hand those off to your team and not everything relies on you. We also want to create an asset that can generate an income without you um, so that you can go on that maternity leave and your business is still re generating revenue. And we want to batch your content ahead of time so that you are scheduled out in advance and you don't have to worry about posting on social media or posting your blog posts or your podcast or any of the stuff that you do um, because it's all done ahead of time and you can focus on your newborn. So I hope this was helpful, whether you're having a baby um, or whether you just want to take time off in the future from your business. I hope this was helpful. Uh, send me a message on Instagram at Classy Career Girl. I would love to know what you think. Hey there, thank you so much for listening to today's episode of the Classy Career Girl podcast. If you want to dive in deeper with me, get more free training and advice to help you find a job or business you love that supports the life that you really want, I'd love to invite you to check out more of my free blog posts, more free videos, and to give you the opportunity to download my free 90 day planning workbook. The best place to get started is to go to www.classycareergirl.com forward slash free stuff. And that will guide you to the best place to start. So I look forward to helping you and supporting you further and reaching your goals and dreams. I will see you soon.